We're just going to wait for everybody to come in here. Oh, hey, what's up, Darko Jack? How you doing? First in, the first comment. Welcome and Merry Christmas to everyone. Going to wait for everybody to show up. Oh, there's Aldo. Hello, hello. I'm good. How are you? Thank you so much for asking. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody. Are you hearing me okay? Is the audio good? Hopefully there's no music playing in the background. Just let me know in the comments section. Hello, Dom John. Welcome. Welcome, everybody, to this live daily events worldwide update on earthquakes, space weather, world weather, volcanoes waiting for everybody to come in here and smack that like button 31 people in hello everybody and welcome and merry christmas hello michael hello one song long time no see welcome everybody just wanted to give you guys a daily update a live update and we're going to start out here with earthquakes as we've seen quite a few deep earthquakes today tonga region just recently, 580 kilometer depth. Earlier throughout the day, it was about a 340 kilometer depth. Deep earthquakes off the coast of Japan. As well, activity building through Alaska. And across the west coast, we did see minor activity right up into Seattle over the last few days. Hope you all have been staying safe, aware, prepared. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna get, just going to say hello to everybody. Hello, Linda Lala. Hello, Dean Hill. Welcome, my brother. Merry Christmas, everybody. Notable activity still going on at the Dominican Republic. As well, South Sandwich Islands towards the Michael Volcano. Activity through Greece today. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes off the coast of Yemen here. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick browse at the last seven days for shakers across the planet as it's been pretty busy and we were expecting an uptick here over the last few days throughout Christmas due to the Mercury retrograde. And we did see an increase in seismicity, especially through central regions, North and South America, and as well Hawaii, notable 5.1 earthquake there. Hello, David Parasly, welcome. Welcome everybody to this daily update and thank you so much for watching live right now. Please don't forget to smack that like button. You can have a look at our sun now for the past 48 hours, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. And we had a large plasma filament destabilize and smash back into the sun. And this was in the first images. So this was two days ago, watching right here, plasma filament. Half of it whips away and the rest of it whips back into the planet. And then opposite reaction here, ant antipode. There was also a pretty large plasma shot. Still have about seven sunspots Earth facing right now. Luckily, this was not in an Earth-facing position, did not produce a coronal mass ejection towards us, but we did have an M-class solar flare right from this sunspot region. That was yesterday. Other than that, no major CMEs heading our way. Quick look at multi-spectrum here, and we do have a coronal hole region building this darkened region right here. And there's also a large plasma filament under it and below it so pretty dynamic area here and that is turning in for an earth facing view hello garth Buse, welcome hello melanie welcome thank you so much for checking out this live stream right now folks this is a live update and it will be uploaded here quickly 
thereafter and then continuing on with the 24-7 Earthquakes live stream. Hope you all stayed happy and safe and full throughout the holidays. Merry Christmas to all and all the best in the new year. And thank you so much for the support and love to this channel. I see all your comments and I appreciate you all. I have a closer look here at our sunspots. Here is that mammoth sunspot region that was very fastly growing. And you can see it still a very active sunspot region. And we've got some more disturbing areas turning in for an earth facing view. Stay tuned for tomorrow's update. Get back to the regular daily do. Having a look here at our solar winds right now as they're coming in. Well, let's see. 501 kilometers per second right now. Notable, the solar x-ray flux was up in the 190s earlier. And that was over the Christmas Day flare and solar weather. We did see a pretty large CME. Where is my SOHO here? Here's the last 48 hours of Lasco. Yeah, thank you so much, Garth. Appreciate that, buddy. Thumbs up, everyone. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do. And share with a friend and a family and ask a question. I'll try to follow along in the comment section. 71 people in here. Can we get 70 likes? That'd be amazing. So two CMEs, one pretty large one coming off from the north. And that was from that plasma filament eruption that I showed. That was right there. And then uh, that opposite antipode reaction. And yet another one. And that's the last 48 hours for Lasco. Having a look here at our solar winds right now, showing the pressure planes. Quick look here at USGS for earthquakes. I wanted to give you a browse right now. They're saying 212 earthquakes in the 24 hour period. But notable activity today, north of Dominican Republic, 5.3 earthquake, Samana, right on the plate, right on the fault line. Notable activity north of Puerto Rico as well. Looking across the United States, no major swarms to observe, but notable activity off the coast of Oregon, 3.3s. And we did have some pretty notable earthquakes along the West Pacific Northwest over the last few days. We're just going to put, uh, let's hear, put the seven last seven days, all magnitude. Notable earthquake here the other day, 4.0, Quilcine, we'll Washington, 52 kilometer depth. Pacific Northwest, lots of activity and northward towards Rainier and Mount Baker. Nothing major to report around Yellowstone the last seven days. Most of the activity has been over Idaho, which is where I do believe this mammoth blob of magma underneath Yellowstone is now. So we'll see. We'll see. This is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world, reporting almost 1,800 in the last seven days, look at all this activity around the Dominican Republic. 5.3, 5.3. That's twice this week it's been hit with 5.3s. Heads up, stay safe, stay aware, prepare it, everybody. We got some pretty deep earthquakes today. 187, 537. And over the last few days, we did see some real deep ones. Over 600, 520 there. Also wanted to give you a glance here at world weather, especially with the system that's been affecting all of North America right now. And we're just going to put this thing into motion uh, right now through Ontario. It's been abnormally warm. And you can see this huge 
a tropical push right here from the equator being pushed right into North America, well into winter now, four days in. And look at the size of this system that has developed. We've had intense fog for the past four days here in Ontario. Certainly not a white Christmas. It's been an eerie and strange Christmas. Hence the video that I did upload earlier today. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. Some pretty wild images. And they say it's going to be foggy again tonight, but not as much as last night. There was zero, zero visibility. And look at the size of this low-pressure system. All this in front is all fog. Just tropical air mass mixing with not-so-very-cold temperatures coming from the north. Doesn't seem that jet stream wants to change. But yeah, very interesting weather, to say the least. Give you a quick glance here over snowfall totals for the next 10 days, where we won't really be seeing anything significant until early parts of January. Oh, apparently I need to log in here. Uh, well, no, I'm not going to do that now. All right, well, I was going to give you an update here, but I need to log in, and I can't really log in while I'm doing this on the live stream. But looking at probably at least... 70 to 100 centimeters falling in the Sierra Nevadas, California, and then all across the Pacific Northwest, a grazing 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters at best. And the long range forecast does not look any more significant when it comes to snowfall. Not much has changed. It's even actually it's becoming harder to uh, forecast the weather, the weather as things do change quickly, especially nowadays. A lot of strange events happening and alterations happening and if you know what I mean. So how's everybody doing? Take a moment to ask you how you're doing. Hello, Keto Mama. Hello, Purple Lava. Hello, Jamie Wilkie. Hello, Chuck. Out here on the perimeter, there are no stars. Out here, we are stoned immaculate. Jim Morrison. I, I thought I recognized that right away. Nice. Snowing in Colorado. Thanks for sharing that, Purple Lava. 92 in here watching. Thanks so much, everybody, for checking in. Merry Christmas to you all, if you haven't heard me say it to you yet. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And so far, so good. I mean, I was expecting something a little bit bigger when it came to earthquakes, especially over the holidays during the Mercury retrograde. New moon, or full moon, I mean. Hello, birdie to tweet. Welcome. 100 people in. Can we get 100 likes? Thank you so much for watching. This is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. There are new, no new major volcanoes that have erupted. Iceland is completely shut down. I do believe the next eruption is going to be coming here at Kilauea. There's been notable activity all along the southeast rift this week. Moving northward. But there's also some peculiar activity building all across Peru and all through South America and Central America. Anything can happen here. We've got 44 erupting and or er active around the world right now. And that's pretty much double what the uh, daily average is for active and erupting volcanoes. Five years ago, it was uh, about 25. Was the average 25 to 30 maximum? Then I started warning about all the changes that are coming to the planet. And then COVID came. And now the changes are happening even more rapidly. Now that this global pandemic came about and got control of the masses. 8 billion people worldwide. Peace and love, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. 
this was uh, a live update daily do for you keeping humanity aware and prepared and we'll get back to the daily do updates starting tomorrow other than that we are going to leave this for you earthquake live stream keeping you updated in the comments section on the latest earthquakes and as well chit chatting in the comment section so please don't be afraid to get in the comment section and say hello and give a thumbs up hope you enjoyed this live update today daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do bye bye